Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how to crochet boots for children between 4 and 6 years old. For this project I will use the following materials. You can use any color you want and the unicorn head can be used on other shoe pattern sizes that I already have on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. You can also visit www.craftybass.com for more patterns. There is more information in the description box. So let's get started. For the boot, we will start with the soles. I already have a video for that. Just click on the card or the link in the description box. We will need four soles two for each boot. So I made two black for the bottom and two pink for the top. And next, I will join them. Use the same yarn that you made the top sole and a 3.5 millimeter hook. Starting from the middle of the heel, insert the hook on both soles. Yarn over. Pull the yarn through. Insert the hook in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull the yarn through, and pull through the loop on the hook, making a slip stitch. Go to the next stitch and repeat. Insert the hook, pull the yarn through, and pull through the loop on the hook. Keep repeating. One slip stitch on each stitch. Just keep working all the way around. I met the last one, cut the yarn, fasten off and with the needle weave in the ends. Hide the ends between the soles. We will start working the shoe on the heel with a white yarn. I have my white yarn and a 3.5 millimeter hook. So we made slip stitches around the sole and there are two loops on each stitch. The back loops and the front loops. Work row one in the back loops only. Insert the hook, wrap the yarn around the hook, pull the yarn through Wrap the yarn around the hook and chain one. I will weave in this end as I go, but you can do it at the end, it's up to you. 
In the same stitch, make one single crochet. In the next stitch, make one single crochet. To weave in the end as you work your stitches, just leave it close to the back loops and work your single crochets, leaving the tail inside. Just continue working one single crochet on each back loop for the whole row. I'm making the last stitch. To finish the row, slip stitch in the first stitch. There is a total of 74 stitches on row 1. Row 2, chain 1. In the same stitch, make one single crochet. Make one single crochet on each stitch for the whole row. Keep in mind that the first chain one for every row doesn't count as a stitch. At the end of the row, slip stitch on the first stitch. Row 3, chain 1 and make 1 single crochet on each stitch. At the end of the row, slip stitch on the first stitch. Row 4, chain 1 and make 20 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. At this point I will place a stitch marker. It will help me with the counting at the beginning of the rows. But you don't have to use it if you don't want to. So I will have to make 6 more for the 20 single crochet. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. My next step is 1 single crochet decrease, 1 single crochet, 1 single crochet decrease, 1 single crochet. Repeating 12 times, 1 single crochet decrease. Insert the hook, pull the yarn through, insert the hook in the next stitch, pull the yarn through, yarn over and pull the yarn through all the loops in the hook. In the next stitch make one single crochet. Keep repeating, one single crochet decrease, one single crochet, 12 times. This is the first group, now one single crochet decrease, one single crochet. Two, 
two times one single crochet decrease one single crochet three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven Twelve. Now make eighteen single crochet. One, two, three, four, seventeen, eighteen. Make one slip stitch. Row 5, chain 1 and make 22 single crochet. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Next, make one single crochet decrease. the next stitch make one half double crochet yarn over insert the hook pull the yarn through yarn over and pull through all the loops next stitch one half double crochet in the next three stitches make one double crochet on each stitch one Two, three. Now it's three double crochet decreases. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two loops, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, insert the hook in the next stitch, pull the yarn through, yarn over, Pull through two, yarn over, and pull through all three loops left on the hook. This is one double crochet decrease. Repeat on the next one. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert the hook in the next stitch, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over and pull through all three loops left on the hook. Two double crochet decrease. Now make a third double crochet decrease. Three 
three double crochet decrease one two three one double crochet on the next three stitches one double in the next one double and one double two half double crochet one two now it's one single crochet decrease make 20 single crochet all the way to the end one two three twenty one slip stitch row six chain one and make 22 single crochet Twenty one, twenty two, one half double crochet in the next stitch, another half double crochet, one double crochet in the next, one double crochet. Now it's three double crochet decreases. One, two, three, two double crochet. One. And two. Next two half double crochet. One and two. And twenty one single crochet. Row seven, chain one and make twenty single crochet. Next is one half double, two double, one and two, five double crochet decreases. One decrease, two, three, four,
and five. Do double crochet. One, two, and two. Next is one half double. And finish the row with 18 single crochet. Row 8, chain 1, make 19 single crochet. Nineteen. One single crochet decrease. Next is four double crochet decreases. One. Three, four, one single crochet decrease. Finish the row with 18 single crochet. If you want to make flat shoes, you can stop at this point and skip to row 12. I am going to continue because I want to make boots. Row 9, chain 1, make 20 single crochet. One single crochet decrease. I make one double crochet decrease. One single crochet decrease. Seventeen single crochet to finish the row. Row 10, chain 1, make 16 single crochet. Two single crochet decrease. One. Two. Now it's two double crochet decreases. One, two, two single crochet decreases. One. And two. Twelve single crochet.
row 11, chain 1. Skip the first stitch and start on the next one, making 17 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 16, 17. Now it's one double crochet decrease. And finish the row with 14 single crochet. Row 12, chain 1. Insert the hook in the previous stitch. Pull the yarn through. Wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through the loops. Insert the hook. Pull through, yarn over and pull through. Just keep repeating all the way around. One reverse single crochet on each stitch. This is my last stitch. Finish the row with one slip stitch, insert the hook and pull the yarn through. Cut the yarn. Pull the tail inside of the boot and with a needle weave in. Boots are done. To make the unicorn head, I am using the same yarn and hook as the shoes. Make a magic ring. Row 1. Make 6 single crochet inside the ring. 1, 2, Three, four, five, and six. Close the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. On the first stitch, insert the hook and make two single crochet in the same stitch. One increase. Place a stitch marker in the first stitch of each row. And this is the beginning of row two. Continue working one increase on each stitch. One, two. Next stitch to single crochet. The next stitch to single crochet. Just repeat one increase on each stitch for the whole row. Row 
Row 3, start with 1 increase. 1 single crochet. In the same stitch, 1 single crochet. Place the stitch marker on the first stitch. In the next stitch, make 1 single crochet. In the next, 1 increase. In the next stitch, 1 single crochet. Just keep repeating, 1 increase, 1 single crochet for the whole row. Row 4, 1 increase, 1 Place the marker on the first stitch. In the next 2 stitches, 1 single crochet on each stitch. On the third stitch, make 1 increase. 1 single, in the next 1 single, in the next 1 increase. One single, one single, one increase. Finish the row with one single, one single. Row five, one increase. And now one, two, three. One single, two, three, one increase. And next three single crochet. One, two, three, one increase. And finish the row with three single crochet. Rows six, seven, eight, nine, and ten make one single crochet on each stitch all the way around. Row 11, 1 decrease. These decreases are going to be different. Insert the hook in the front loop of the next two stitches. Yarn over, pull the yarn through, yarn over, and pull through the two loops, 1 decrease. Next, make 3 single crochet. One, two, three, one decrease, front loop, front loop again, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, one, two, Three, one decrease. Finish the row with three single crochet. One, two, 
and 3. Row 12. One decrease. Now make two single crochet. Just keep repeating one decrease, two single crochet all the way to the end of the row. Row 13, 7 single crochet, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. One decrease, next make seven single crochet and finish the row with one decrease. Row 14 and row 15 make one single crochet on each stitch. At the end of row 15, place the safety eyes. Turn the work with the stitch marker facing down. Insert the safety eyes in the opposite side. Pull the yarn. From the center count 10. Keeping the stitch marker at the bottom, push the safety eye between row 10 and 11. Place the other one across Leave 9 or 10 stitches between them After that, put the backs in Row 16 1 decrease One single crochet, one decrease, one single crochet, keep repeating. At the end of the row, it's two single crochet. One and in the next one. It's time to put in the stuffing. Row 17, work 5 decreases. One decrease. Two, three, 
three. Four. Five. And finish the row with one single crochet. Cut the yarn. Pull the yarn through. Remove the stitch marker. Now working with the needle in front loops, front to back. One. And back to front, two. And three, four. And five. Pull the yarn tight to close the hole. Insert the needle in the center and out on the eye. Go back in at the bottom of the eye and out on the next eye and pull. Insert the needle again and out at the back of the head. Pull the yarn tight. And finish with the yarn at the bottom of the head. To make the horn, I am using a 1.5 millimeter hook and golden metallic crochet thread. Make the magic ring. Row 1, 5 single crochet inside the ring. One. Two, three, four, five. Row two. In the first stitch, make one increase. One single crochet. In the same stitch, one more single crochet. Place stitch marker in the first stitch. Now make four single crochet. One. Two. Three, and four. Row three, one increase.
Next is 5 single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, row four. One increase, next is six single crochet. Row five, one increase. Now make seven single crochet. Row six, make four single crochet. One, Two, three, four. One increase. Now make four single crochet. One, two, three, and four. Row seven. One increase, and nine single crochet for the rest of the row, and now make nine single crochet. Row 8, make one single crochet on each stitch. Row 9, one increase. And ten single crochet. Row ten, make one single crochet on each stitch. At the end of row 10, remove the stitch marker and make one slip stitch in the first stitch.
cut the yarn, pull the yarn through. We're going to fill this with some leftover yarn or fiber fill. For the ears, I am using 1.9 millimeter hook and white crochet thread. Start with a magic ring. Row 1, make 5 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Close the ring. Row 2. On the first stitch, make one increase. Place marker on the first stitch. Four single crochet. One. Two, three, four, row three, one increase. Five single crochet. One. Two. Three. Four, five, row four, one increase, Make six single crochet. Row five, one increase. Three single crochet, one, two, three, now make one increase. and three single crochet. One, two, and the last one, three. Row six, remove the marker. Insert the hook on both sides Pull the yarn through and make one slip stitch. 
Just keep working one slip stitch on each stitch, joining both sides. Cut the yarn, fasten off. For the curls, I'm using the 1.9mm hook and different colors of crochet thread. Make a slip knot and chain 41. Forty, forty-one. If you want to make it longer, just add more chains. Count two chains from the hook. One, two. Insert the hook and make one single crochet. Work one single crochet on each chain. This is my last stitch. Cut the yarn. Fasten off. Make some more repeating the same steps. Count three to four rows from the eyes and sew the horn. Now let's attach the hair. Use a needle with one of the end tails. And then on the first row right behind the horn, tie a knot with both ends of the hair. Hide the ends inside. Repeat with the rest of the hair. Continue adding them in a straight line.
Another idea is that you can make more of these curly hairs and then sew them in the back of the boot to make a tail. Now we sew the ears. Next to the first hair, count two stitches to the side and sew it. For the eyelashes, black thread or black yarn. Tie a knot at the end of the thread. Insert the needle from the bottom of the head to the top of the eye. Sew the head on top of the shoe. For the nostrils, I'm using the pink yarn and a needle. Insert the needle from the bottom of the head. To finish this project, apply some polymer liquid on the bottom of the soles. Just a few drops for safety. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe, click the bell, and hit the like button. You can also visit www.craftybest.com for more patterns. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye.